that's that's me devouring something. Ski he, whatever that shit says. <laughs> now that's natural. Do not blame me because I burp. You're supposed to. And I hawk shit, talk shit, New York. <laughs> New York, you feel me? Right now, I got a lot of minutes to spare, you know. Miss that always on time. Don't hate. Always on time, you know what I mean? That's what. Uh, just because I said that, that doesn't mean you got to hate. But it's funny, though. How people don't tend to forgive this. So even I don't tend to forgive myself at times. The deeper I dive into it, forgiving yourself is a very deep subject. Oh, there's levels to forgiving yourself. There's so many levels to it. And even I'm learning to forgive myself for certain things that I unconsciously haven't forgiven myself for that is plaguing my present or modern time now. But it's worse for others because you can <clears throat> not forgive yourself because you don't know, and that is okay. It is okay not to know something that you can't forgive yourself for, but it is worse that you can't forgive yourself for something that you know, but you're lying to yourself about it. You understand? You can consciously not know that something had happened in your past where every time there's a sound, you flinch. You, go, oh. you feel me? You don't know why you flinch. Somebody raised their voice. You, oh. I'm like, because somebody or your mother, somebody yelled at you, so that scares you. So every time somebody showed the same traits of those things, you tend to flinch because you haven't forgiven yourself that you was just a little kid at that time. You couldn't defend yourself. Da -da -da. Whatever the reason is. So you haven't forgiven yourself for that. So you tend to react to that uh, activities and sounds and voice, whatever it is. You tend to react in that matter. You tend to flinch. So that's an indication that you haven't forgiven yourself for an incident that you probably forgot. It's like your mind has buried it to protect yourself in your memories. Your mind buried it here. Yeah threw a lot of other bullshit memories on it so you can't even recollect it. You gotta go to a psychosis or some wild shit like that just to bring back those memories up. So it is okay if you don't know that part, but it's also very important for you to recognize your reaction to your flinching of things so you can solve it. You don't even have to know the whole story of the reason why. As long as you're mindful of it, you can solve it. But what's even worse, it's a person who knows that they have not forgiven themselves, but yet are lying to themselves just to make themselves feel better because they don't want to be take accountability for the things that they've done. And I've met quite a few. I'm not going to talk for long. My speaking time is based on the path that I'm walking towards where I need to be. So it's, it's not that long. But understand this, man. Those people are the worst. So I don't want everybody else to think that, oh, no, we, there's, there's, there's levels to forgiving yourself. Those are just the two levels that I mentioned. The first one is okay. You know what I mean? You don't know. It might have happened as a child. It's cool. You feel me? It's all forgiven. In the Lord's eye. Trust me on that. But what it cannot be forgiven and what must be. What's the word I'm trying to use? Look at this nigga. What is this nigga doing? Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Seen a car coming towards me. I'm like, what this nigga doing? I've been pipped, you nigga. I'm from New York City. You feel me? We looking 20 blocks down the line. <laughs> For real, nigga, we scan the whole area like beep, 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 beep. 
Nigga, I could be talking to another nigga and I'm like this, like, yo, suck my nigga. You know, you know, we looking around left, right. Like, come on, man. Because we was from an era. The era that I was from is different. Like, you dig? Like, it's special. You know what I mean? We was made out of some special tissues. <laughs> special cloth. Untouchables. Anyway, look, man. The person that knows they've done something wrong to another person who didn't deserve you doing wrong to them imagine you looking out for somebody then that person did you wrong and now you feel guilty for what you've done to that person now you're looking for a reason to justify what you've done instead of just admitting that you did something wrong this is what i mean by forgiving yourself it's already done. You did what you had to do. It's done. You've done it. All you have to do is admit that you've done it and move on. Forgive yourself. Move on from it. You know this as a fact because you did it. <laughs> Why are you looking for a reason to justify what you've done? That's not forgiving yourself. Because it's not about the other person forgiving you. You also have to forgive yourself. Because sometimes when people move, y'all in a relationship, people move on. And here you are still crying over that person. That nigga, is he on, he on the next bitch. He probably on his third wife. Yeah, you still crying over this nigga. It's like, yo, forgive yourself already. It's not about you forgiving the other person. Start with yourself first. Forgive yourself first. It comes in so many different forms. That's just one example of it. <clears throat> a lot of people just forget to forgive themselves. You know what I mean? And that's where we have a lot of problems. <laughs> and I just had it ugly. I had to read it. And sometimes I'll be wondering, because when I'm watching a video, um, I'm not just watching the video to see the person. I want to know what they're thinking in their mind as they're speaking too, as they're walking around. I'm trying to determine all of that. So sometimes a person has a pause. A pause in a conversation is a very good uh, trick, or is, is, is a trick to grab people's attention. Imagine a person just talking and talking and talking without a pause. Sometimes you get tired of the pause because our attention span is not that long. So it's always good when you're having a conversation to have a pause. Once you have a pause, you grab, you, you grab that person's attention again. Automatically, psychologically, it works. Just do it. Try it. Just talk, 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 and don't say nothing. A pause in between. Even if a person's not paying attention, they turn to you like, what the fuck, what happened? Video's over? Then they come, then you start talking again. Then you grab, you re-grab the attention again. Because a human, our attention span is so low. It's always good to pause. That was, that was just a little side note. Just, I just had to push that.